Hey guys, as you can see by the title of this video, in this week's video I'm gonna show you some vegan recipes. To be really honest, this title is kinda clickbaity because I didn't actually film this all in one same week. That's just because I have a really random life slash work schedule. So if I were to eat dinner or breakfast at work half of the week, this video would have just been super super boring. I just showed you some of my favorite vegan recipes, um, some that I tried out from other people's videos or TikToks, some that I already used to eat and I even treated myself to a vegan pizza from New York Pizza. I'm actually not vegan, I'm not even a vegetarian, but I am aware of what I consume. I don't buy meat, but sometimes I do eat meat when I eat out or whatever. I don't think I ever actually would go fully vegan just because a lot of substitutes are with ingredients that I'm allergic to, so that's fun. And I just, I'm Dutch and that means you have to love cheese. So please let me know if you've ever found out a good vegan substitute to cheese that doesn't include nuts and preferably also no soy, but I don't think that exists. <laughs> But, like I said, it's not a very typical what I eat in a week. So there are no 5 to 7 breakfasts, 5 to 7 lunches and 5 to 7 dinners. But there's just some quick, easy and good recipes. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's start off with one of my favorite meals to make, a burrito bowl. It's so quick, easy and so good. Um, I start off with cooking some rice. I know people are very passionate about their rice, but just do you. <laughs> Then I cut up some onion. This is actually old footage, so I'm not too sure if this is entirely vegan, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> um, I cut up some bell pepper. I throw both in a pan. Then I continue by cutting up some vegan chicken. This is from the Albert Heijn, vegan boneless wings. So good, amazing. I add some fajita mix. And then I start with my guacamole. This I wow. just ruined that, but <laughs> I always add some pepper, some salt, some lime juice, lemon juice, sorry, and some chili flakes. And then this was my pathetic attempt at pico de gallo. <laughs> and then I just start assembling my bowl. So I add rice, lettuce, corn, pico de gallo, salsa. What else? Oh, yeah, this is not vegan. I'm so sorry. Like I said, this is old footage. I deleted the vegan ones, but there should have been vegan cheese. So just pretend this is vegan cheese. And there you go. Look how good that looks. Amazing. This next meal is actually something I found on YouTube. I forgot the girl's name. So if you recognize this meal, let me know. Um, yeah, I just boil some rice, cut up some onion and some garlic and then i add chickpeas and some tomato what is this called canned tomatoes <laughs> i add pepper salt gray masala masala sorry cayenne pepper chili flakes actually i'm not a big fan of chickpeas at all but i really want to be so i'm trying i'm learning yeah this is basically the meal if your rice is done and this whole thing is solved um, I thought about having naan bread with it, but I didn't have that, but I did have some cassave, so that was good. I didn't love the meal, but a few days later I ate the leftovers with some guacamole, and that was so much better. This has recently become one of my favorite meals to make for lunch, and it's also so quick and easy, so good. I just prepare some guacamole again. In which I again add pepper, salt, lemon juice, and chili flakes. 
and then I spread that all out over two wraps. I think I used half an avocado. Make sure it's all covered. And we're back with the vegan boneless wings. So good. I cut them off so they look kind of gross, but yeah. I added some chicken seasoning, some cayenne pepper, and just got that all ready. Put that on the wrap, added some spinach. I love me some spinach. And then I put it all back in the pan and to get it all nice and crusty, crispy, what? <laughs> crispy and toasty. And then I add some chili sauce. This is my favorite, like sweet chili sauce. Such a good meal. So easy, so good, yummy. In these next clips, I treat myself to some New York pizza. I'm so sorry about the way I look, but I just went on a one hour walk and it's raining. But I just picked up a pizza. I got it for free. We got this little card in the mail, which would give us a free pizza because they were late or something. I'm honestly pretty sure it was meant for my neighbors and not for us. But I did take advantage of it. And I'm gonna try the vegan swarma pizza. It looks really good. They use vegan swarma from the Vegetarische Slager or the Vegetarian Butcher, which is quite a popular brand here in the Netherlands. Well, in the Netherlands, they make obviously vegetarian fake meats and they're quite good. So, vegan cheese and a vegan garlic swirl. I'm very curious. It looks a bit bland, not gonna lie. I usually get the extra vagance with a lot of also meat but also a lot of veggies and stuff. I'm really going all in. First of all, it smells really good. It just smells really garlicky. Okay, it's warmer than I expected. The box felt so cold. Mm. Something is different, but I really like it. It just has a lot of flavor. This is what the swarma looks like. It looks like regular swarma to me. Taste. The texture is slightly different, but only slightly. Tastes exactly the same. I think same goes for the garlic sauce. The texture is a little different, but other than that, this is a great pizza. I definitely recommend. I'm gonna enjoy this now. Mmm. Cheers. <laughs> okay, there's something I'm not a fan of, and I think it's a cheese, but honestly, I'm not too sure. It's just a bit musty, <laughs> I guess, but I've heard that a lot about vegan cheese, so I'm not necessarily surprised. I think I'd give this pizza a fat seven, though. <laughs> Maybe I take that back and turn that into a six and a half to a 6.8. I just really don't like the cheese, but other than that, it's really good. It's really, I know y'all hate this word, moist. The tomato is. And I love how New York pizza has this garlic crust. Oh my God, this is illegal folding New York pizza. But yeah, I would buy this swarma I can though, but I could literally buy the swarma in the store, which is great because I will. And then I can make pizza bread with swarma. Let's continue with a curry. I've only gotten into curries really recently because although I love everything that smells like coconut, I don't particularly like the taste of coconut. Um, but I had it over at a friend's house and you don't really taste the coconut milk at all. And the nice part is there are probably no rules. You can throw in whatever vegetables you have and it's very quick and easy. And I usually have an entire box of mushrooms, a courgette and a bell pepper. I'm making two servings, by the way. I was supposed to start off with some onion and garlic, but I completely forgot. So as you can see, I kind of suck at cooking. <laughs> oh, also don't forget to boil your rice in the meantime, or use your rice cooker, whatever <laughs> floats your boat. I added some salt, pepper, curry seasoning, cayenne pepper and paprika powder. And then, of course, the coconut milk. And this is the moment I found out that the curry paste I was using wasn't actually vegan, which is so stupid, but I just assumed it would be. But there are apparently prawn herbs or something in it. I'm so sorry, but make sure you actually find a vegan one if you want to try this out. Nonetheless, this is so good. And I usually eat this with some cassave as well.
let's continue with one of my favorite breakfasts. Oh, I'm craving this right now. It's so good. It's an oatmeal blueberry breakfast. And yeah, start off by getting your blueberries ready. Make sure to wash them and put them in a little oven dish. This is actually the perfect size. And then I get about 40 grams of oatmeal. I add a banana. I said that really weird, a banana. <laughs> and I just smash it all together. It has to get into one sticky consistency. Honestly, the more brown your banana is, the better this will go and easy. Also add some cinnamon, of course, and then spread it all out over the blueberries. Make sure it's all even and coated. And then you put it in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes, um, about 180 degrees Celsius. And then it comes out looking like this and it's, it's so good. It's really, really nice. I love this. Look at that. If you've seen my last what I eat in a day, you've seen this meal as well, but now I needed to make it a vegan one so this is like my pizza quesadilla i guess i add some tomato paste and some sambal to get it spicy and i just spread it all over like a pizza and then i add some oregano and i add some basil and then i found out some vegan cheese this one is actually free from dairy free from nuts free from soy free from anything Ooh, it actually smells like cheese. So this is uh, what I wanted to try out. And I put it in a pan without oil and I just make sure it gets a little brown. And then I flip it over, add a ton of spinach in between. I love spinach. And then I close it up and then I actually add some cheese on top. I've been doing this recently and it's so good. Once it's melted, you flip it over and add some cheese on the other side. It didn't melt that well and usually these look a little more like brown and then I usually dip it in some cream cheese but obviously I couldn't right now it's also really good to dip in guacamole I'm so scared about this vegan cheese because last time it wasn't that great I don't really taste anything it's a lot better than the cheese on that vegan pizza though I think I'm gonna have to take that back I just don't like vegan cheese <laughs> and I feel like a lot of vegans could agree with that what's the what I eat in a week without a smoothie um, I always make a green smoothie, so I add a shit ton of spinach and I had some oatmeal, which I've never tried before, so I did that. I had some blueberries laying around and a banana and then I added apple juice. I always add some liquid, which is usually orange juice or water and this time it was some apple juice and it came out looking like shit, but it always tastes good, so. My roommate and I call this our Barça rice because this is a meal we used to eat a lot when we used to live in Barcelona. It has absolutely nothing to do with Barcelona or Spain, but it just reminds me of the time we've had there. And I'm making two servings again. I'm cutting up garlic and an onion, putting that in a pan. Also cutting up rice, uh, I'm not cutting up rice, I'm cooking rice. Again, this is a very rice video, but <laughs> I add some courgettes and a bell pepper and i'm adding three small tomatoes or you could use two big ones doesn't really matter i'm adding pepper i hadn't done this in a while so i just did whatever some dried oregano some dried basil salt and then i use this tomato sauce i guess tomato frito i don't really know how to explain it <laughs> and then once the rice is boiled i add that to that one pan and then I mix it all together and I add some more of that red stuff and basically I just do whatever feels good and then I add this herb mix this is supposed to go into a steam bag I'm not using the steam bag I'm only using the the seasoning and I just keep on doing whatever feels good so you add a bit of the sauce you add a bit of the herbs and then at one point it looks a little like this and it tastes absolutely amazing I feel like this video couldn't go without a acai bowl as well. So, oh, this is all going super fast. Why are we going so fucking fast? I added in a packet of acai, obviously, half a banana, and I wanted to add some liquid, but I added way too much, and I it was apple juice as well. 
um, so the consistency was way too liquidy and then in the bowl I wanted to add some blueberries I added a banana but all of my toppings kept drowning I added some like crisly and some raisins and there was that Okay, so that was the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found some meals that you want to try out. I'm actually really craving that one lunch with avocado and vegan chicken on a wrap. It's so good, but I don't have that right now. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed. So if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It's completely free. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I don't, why would I do this? What does this mean? Okay, bye.